My name is Mohammed Shakib and this is Master Deck. So today I am going to install a ASP ROM on Redmi Note 3. The first thing you have to do is obviously power off your device. Then you have to then you have to press the power button and volume up button at the same time for a couple a couple of seconds. And now the sign engine mode logo comes up which means the TWRP recovery is installed so first thing you have to do is just going into the wipe at once and you have to check the Delvic then you have to check the system data and catch and then you have to swipe to wipe and then you have to go back and in my case I have a, a ASP ROM on my on my SD card so here is ASP ROM Genzo all ROM so just click here and swipe to confirm flash so wait for it for the couple of minutes until I think it's completely installed then you have to then you have to uh, click on reboot on a hit on to the recovery and swipe to Y and just wait then then you have to go into the installation then select the gaps file and Swipe to confirm flash. Now the gaps file is completely installed. Install the super SE for the root. So it's uh, installation is done. So now you have to hit the reboot system. Now uh, it's going boot the first time it will take a couple of minutes so be patient with it and wait now the finally ROM is installed so it's detect the sim card so here is the setup screen uh, for USB ROM hit the next oh, sorry I have to change my change the language here English, English India so hit the next and just let me insert my password so now I inserted my password checking the connection here it's pretty good checking for the update it's doing the Kind of animations. So let me insert my email email address. So just checking the info for the Wi-Fi and whatnot. No thanks. So set up the fingerprint here. So another is added. Hit the next. So we don't need to restore it. Here is the welcome screen. It's uh, ASP ROM is based on a marshmallow, so it's uh, kind of a look like this. As you can see this. Now I have to check whether uh, it can support. Uh, a VOLT also this ROM can support a VOLT so now I'm just uh, make sure that uh, VOLT is working so now I have to call the number customer care so it's uh, VOLT is not working as of now what you gonna do is we have to go to the recovery and flash the VOLT firmware which we downloaded from XDA. So 
so let me try power off the device first press the power button and volume up button at the same time so now we are in a TWRP recovery mode here is the TWRP recovery also we have the firmware here ASP 6 as you can see this here is the ASP select this and swipe to confirm flash so now hopefully now we can access the VLT network on this phone So now it's booting. It's uh, taking time. So just wait. Now the phone is booted. Up. Now it's completely done. Let me power up the device first. Now, as you can see, uh, there is a HD logo console, which means the VLD is working on this ROM and let me clarify calling the customer care for you guys so uh, let's start with the pattern now now it's uh, done calling it uh, so there's the customer care which is working pretty fine so let me cut in the call for you in the call and uh, now I am going into the about and I'll show you this is a resume 3 and it's uh, on a marshmallow 6.0.1 so this is it this base number kernel and go back That's all guys, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit like, comment, share and more videos like this. Thanks, peace. Thank you. Uh, this is a red one. Thank you.